Aloha everyone, this is Tiari here, and in this video, I'll be showing you a recipe that I created today. It's a Okinawan sweet potato cheesecake with blueberry filling. It has no eggs. And I'm going to just show you a little bit of what I did today. Today was a bittersweet day. And I'll kind of explain it to you a little bit later, but first let's get to the recipe here. What I did here was, I am showing you what my ingredients are. I'll leave the full recipe in the description area. I took one package of the Biscoff and one package of the honey made honey graham crackers. What I did here was, I put it into a plastic bag and I took almost the whole thing of that Biscoff, but it made two cups each. That's what you want to get and you want to use a rolling pin and you want to crush that down. So I crushed it down and I put it in a bowl, a mixing bowl, to get out of the Ziploc bag here. Right here I got one block of Kerrygold butter and I melted it. And right now I'm adding organic cane sugar here. I just added two tablespoons, large tablespoons, and then I added the melted butter here. Try to get as much of that butter out and kind of stir it up. I decided to use my hands. I washed my hands. Now I put it in a pan here. It's a spring formed pan, but I, I don't end up doing it that way. I just like leaving the cheesecake in the pan. And then I'm going to bake it for 20 minutes in 350 degree oven. Right here I got some Okinawan purple sweet potatoes here and I boiled them until it was pretty soft and I'm just kind of mashing it. I want to get a cup of this here. I made a little extra for the dog again. He, that's his favorite food is purple sweet potato. This basically is more for aesthetic, for the color and not really the flavor. So I'm just putting it in there making sure there is a cup. Today I just basically made this up today and I did not know exactly the outcome but it tastes really good when I tried it. What I did was use five cream cheeses. Now I'm using a rice paddle. I felt it was a lot easier. I don't have a hand mixer. I tried to get all the um, lumps out, and but it, when I tasted it, it was fine. So I left the cream cheese out for a while, and it just did not soften. Here in Volcano, it gets really cold. I put a lot of elbow grease into doing this today. Here I have sweetened condensed milk. I'm going to add a whole can of that. I like this brand of sweet and condensed milk here. So I took out the crust from the oven and that's what it looks like. You want to cool that down completely. Next I'm going to get a half a cup of the organic cane sugar. I didn't need as much because the sweet and condensed milk is just sweet enough and the filling, the blueberry filling is a bit sweet. And when I tasted it, it wasn't 
juicy, which I liked. Right here I added just maybe two tablespoons or so, or two teaspoons, I don't know, I just kind of put as much as I like. Right here I'm going to start off with uh, half a cup of half and half. I'm going to put the remaining half a cup of the half and half into the mixture. And you can see it's very, very lumpy. It took me literally like 30 minutes just to kind of get most of the lumps out. And I added, you could see I added more of the half and half. Right there my phone stopped because I had no storage in my phone so I had to delete some videos. I added the Okinawan sweet potato in there. Now I'm adding two uh, tablespoons of cornstarch. So the vanilla would have been two tablespoons. So I'm just going to mix that all up there. Okay, so I tried to do the best I could. I mixed that much and I'm just putting it into the springform pan. And you want to get as much as you can out of that bowl. I love the color, it's just so pleasant. It's a natural food coloring right here, instead of using dyes to make it look purple. If you don't have Okinawa sweet potato, you can use ube, uh, which is, they call it a purple sweet potato or Stokes potato. And I just kind of let it kind of get all the air from the bottom and just tapped it. Right there I'm adding parchment paper and I'm adding two foils because my foil is not too big. I put them together and folded it so that way no water will get into it because you're going to want to add hot boiling water to your pan there. So I put the parchment paper over the foil. And I'm just going to wrap it around as best as I can. And then right there, I just put some hot water and then I put it in the oven. Uh, I have a gas oven. I put it in for an hour and a half and you can see that it's kind of brown on the top, which is cool. And then now I'm just spooning over the, the blueberry filling. I like the purple on purple. I put it away to chill. I don't know, I just was listening to the birds and then I thought, oh, maybe I'll see a eel, a Hawaiian hawk. And then for sure, I looked up and there was a eel flying over property. Sorry, the quality isn't that great. He was so high and he was soaring. And then I went into the house and then my mom showed me um, my ex-sister-in-law obituary. Uh, today is her one year anniversary of her death and they'll have a celebration of life. Um, one year later, I was bawling my eyes out uh, for about an hour. And then I went outside and was listening to the birds and you can hear it here.
And then our family blue healer, he is so silly. He was trying to destroy his ball and I'll let you hear him here and see how funny he is. Right there, he is looking at me to see if I approve of what he is doing because this dog is very silly. He, he is a work dog and we got him. He's five years old. He was from Kona. And then he, there he is. He likes to do his work right there and pretend there's a person there. And then here I'm just doing some time lapses of the property. I was just sitting out there thinking about my ex-sister-in-law and life and, and there he is he's just he won't go out unless somebody goes out and he's so silly so I just did some time lapses here and then I went back inside and I my dad and mom wanted some cheesecake it wasn't completely solid yet but they wanted to eat some before they headed for bed but i'll show you a slice of what it looks like after it has cooled down for them they said it was very delicious and like i said i just created this i just um, made this up as i went along and i just did taste tests and stuff and what i love about it is eggless because i'm allergic to it then I went outside at night. This is night photos. And that was the only night photo that was the best here. The moon was so bright out tonight that it just didn't give me any good photos. And there was all these clouds here. Um, and here's now I'm gonna show you a picture of what it looked like when it was in the refrigerator for about four hours. It was so delicious. It was rich and creamy just like a cheesecake that you would get with eggs. But this is the cheesecake. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Aloha.